in this video we will discuss the evolutionary species concept that uh, how do we define a species while considering the evolutionary history evolutionary species concept is most popular among the paleontologists so uh, what is evolutionary species concept according to evolutionary species concept a species is a series of populations that inherit certain characteristics from ancestors to descendants and uh, they maintain the identity identity means uh, they are distinct from other lineages and they have their own evolutionary tendencies and historical fate so how do we define a lineage lineage is basically a series of ancestors and descendants and uh, it means that all the members of a species have a common ancestor so uh, while considering this factor we can say that a species is a monophyletic group of uh, individuals so that is basically phylogenetic species concept so uh, according to this concept a species is a cluster of organisms that are distinct from other such clusters and uh, within this group of individuals or cluster of organisms there uh, is we can observe a pattern of ancestry and descendant the term identity identity means that uh, a species is biologically distinct from other such uh, groups of individuals so it is uh, we can say that the biological species concept is uh, generally the broadest term in within which we discuss the ecological species concept biologically distinct means that it acts as a reproductive unit a genetic unit and ecological unit so the biological species concept is the broadest category within which we can discuss the evolutionary species concept evolutionary species concept basically deals with a single species at a particular time at a particular time during the evolutionary history and species recognition mechanisms are basically the mechanisms that are used by the species to recognize the conspecifics conspecifics means the members of the same species as mates next is tendencies and fate we are considering the species as a historical entity species is definitely a historical entity that has evolved origin originated from ancestors so what are the means by which a species can originate from the ancestors it it is uh, basically by cladogenesis 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 means that a single lineage a single lineage splits into two lineages a single lineage ancestral lineage splits into two lineages and uh, next is anagenesis anagenesis means that there are changes within the lineage within a single lineage there are changes it means that evolution is occurring so we are discussing the origination origin evolution and disappearance of species new species origin by the process of cladogenesis cladogenesis means splitting of single clade into two evolution occurs by changes within the single lineage evolution occurs by changes in the single lineage and then disappearance disappearance occurs by the extinction or termination of lineage termination means the end point of a particular lineage the implication of evolutionary species concept new species arise as species level taxa not as higher categories so we have already discussed that evolution occurs at species level for example the first bird that was archaeopteryx it did not create a new class aves okay it resembled the uh, dinosaurs coelosaurs archosauria that had feathers but the single bird did not create a new class so new species only arise by the splitting from other forms as we have discussed that cladogenesis is the process by which new species originate okay the changes within lineages that is anagenesis it does not create new species 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ होमो एरगेस्टर गेव राइज टू और क्रिएटेड होमो हेडल ब्रजेनिस एंड होमो हेडल ब्रजेनिस गेव राइज टू होमो सेपियंस then it is an example of continuous change within a single lineage it is said to be an evolving species okay but new species arise by the splitting from other forms next is a fundamental event in evolution is cladogenesis not anagenesis as previously discussed that cladogenesis or the splitting of uh, clades creates new species but uh, the changes within a single clade or lineage did not create any species the study of speciation is key not the study of microevolution it means that uh, according to evolutionary uh, species concept the fundamental event behind the uh, formation of a species or evolution is cladogenesis means the formation of new species and speciation is the process by which new species are formed so microevolution is basically anagenesis it means that there is a change in the frequency of genes with the passage of time so it means that evolution is basically due to cladogenesis not anagenesis